Hi guys and gals and all my non-binary friends coming to you live from my bedroom floor. And so today I got my stimmy mm -mm -mm. and I wanted to, sh I did a book haul uh, last year or sometime. Um, I don't know when it was, probably like in the summer or something. Um, and I hadn't even finished all of the books that I bought back then, uh, and I got in that video, but, uh, I still wanted more books because why not? So I'm going to show you guys the books that I purchased today, starting with the pot book, a complete guide of cannabis it's role in medicine, politics, science, and culture. I have never heard of this book, but I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm very interested in the decriminalization and legalization um, of drugs because it's literally people's personal choices. Um, and instead of locking people up for having substance abuse issues and stuff like that we should be giving people treatment for these issues and it's like oh well, you do this you see blah, 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 blah. shut up shut up shut up more than likely if i have a substance abuse problem there's more than just me having a substance abuse problem so yes maybe that is something that i inflicted on myself but the over the underlying thing is that I have trauma that allowed me to do this or I have some uh, uh, imbalance that has me deal, dealing with this. There's something there's something underlying besides just substance abuse. So you shouldn't just throw people in jail for this. You should try to get people help. And also you, sh you shouldn't be throwing people in jail for trying to make a living and sell um drugs because guess what y'all don't give people livable wages so guess what i gotta have a little side hustle because i'm getting paid 19 dollars an hour and it's still not enough enough to uh pay my rent and get me a nice savings or whatever so yeah i'm gonna sell a little drugs on the side or whatever you shouldn't be locking people up because they got a g on them like that is disgusting that is disgusting that is the carceral state just trying to get bodies for this for corporations to use as slaves because hello these people are getting paid five cent on the hour or some shit like that in prison to work for these huge corporations like victoria's secret and all these different places like that and it's just like that's evil but yeah so um really excited about this uh, the, uh just a brief description the pop book traces the secret history of marijuana examines the dis disconnect between 70 years of prohibition and the american public's pers personal attitudes towards pot and offers clear-eyed look at all the uses of cannabis, including the growing list of its widespread medical benefits. Consulting with the top experts in the field, Dr. Julie Holland presents the current science and makes a compelling case for the need for further research and un incumbent by anti-drug hysteria, as well as an immediate change to our nation's puritanical drug laws. So that sounds really interesting. I'm really excited about that. I also have revolutionary suicide by Huey p newton oh. um and i don't know anything about Huey p newton um and so that's why i picked up this book because i'm just interested i want to know about the people that came before me uh i really don't want to see anyone else die anyone else be traumatized by this white supremacist patriarchal capitalist system and so i'm very invested in um radical thoughts and radical ideas but i don't call myself a revolutionary because I don't want people to die and I don't want me to die either. Like, I don't want anyone to die for this. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like revolution calls for death. And I think that's why a lot of people like to play with this and they want to be like, oh, we're doing it. We're starting a revolution. Revolution is death. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It's, but we need revolutionaries. We need revolutionaries. I'm just saying I'm tired of black and brown people having to be the ones to die, you know, to make a change. So, yeah, really excited about that. Got lead from the outside by stacy abrams this black woman is freaking amazing um her along with a multitude of other organizations 
flipped Georgia for the first time in like, I don't know, I think 40, 30, 20 years or some shit like that. Really fucking amazing. She's brilliant. Um, not only is she a politician, a skilled organizer, but she's also a erotica writer. Like she writes smut and i as someone who loves smut i have not read her books but i'm probably gonna buy one after i finish reading this book so yeah really excited about that i love it i i love this i love this like yes all right um this book it, this is actually the i think besides one other book is the only book that i actually was like something that i had actually wanted before going to the store all the all the other books are books that i just saw the um at the bookstore and it's just like oh yeah i should watch i would definitely be interested in this topic so yeah this is negro land and it is about basically the beige as you can see um people and how they were living you know all bougie rich and privileged to some degree of course they didn't have white privilege but they were privileged to some degree um especially when it comes to class and stuff like that and so yeah very interested in this because you know colorism is a real thing and it allows it allows us to gain access to money security um protection because pe people of lighter skin are less seen as less aggressive and so um police officers are less likely to kill people of lighter skin you're less likely to get arrested if you have lighter skin you are it's just all these things it's really quite disgusting but yeah very fascinated by that oh my god i saw this title i was like oh are were you personally made for me men who hate women from incels to pickup artists the truth about extreme misogyny and how it affects us all <laughs> That's by Laura Bate. I I don't ooh, I don't know nothing about this book, but Mama sounds hot. Mama sounds hot. Let me see. The killing of women because we are women is not only the most common crime in the world, it's also the single biggest indicator of whether a nation is violent in its streets and will use violence against another nation. Laura Bates is showing us the path to both intimate and global survival. This is going to be fascinating. I already know. I'm actually really excited about all of these books. I also ordered um, Fear in the Black Body because they didn't have it in the store. So I had to order it because apparently um, it's not a very popular book. And so it's really like a they print to order. So you basically have to order them hoes regardless because they're not just in print like that because people aren't buying it like that which is fine i'm super excited uh to get that book because i've been really fascinated with it um this idea of like fat phobia and how it's connected to racism which everything pretty much in american culture and american um government and Amer in america as a country you could point at and be like oh yeah here's how that's racist so i'm really excited about that but yeah these are the books that i got that's all for now i'm probably gonna start with the pot book just because i'm really just so interested in um how things because of people's perception of certain things how that then affects like everyone's life right so like the the public perception of weed for so long was like the devil's lettuce or whatever and so people were getting locked up and still are being locked up especially black people disproportionately to their white counterparts even though they tend to ingest and sell weed at the same rate as their white as their white counterparts so it's all fascinating i'm really excited to get to like dive into these books and i'm really excited because i haven't actually i haven't been reading my books in a while i haven't just i just haven't been like motivated and now i have books that i'm like interested in that will probably make me continue to like read different things so i'm really excited so yeah that was just my little book um book haul You guys, I am working on it. I'm trying to be better, but I am trash. And so I did get my books from Barnes and Nobles. You know, counsel me. I would understand. I'd counsel me too. So yeah, on that note, read a book, buy an Audible. Um, you can even, you know, even if you don't 
have the access because money books and like knowledge is very elitist and intellectual properties are very elitist all this shit and so books are expensive like i pay like over a hundred dollars for all the books i got today so even if you can't buy books library um getting a library card is always a good idea and a lot of times if you go to like garage sales and yard sales people will have books and they'll be like super cheap and stuff like that so i know that it is like you have to have a certain amount of money and be privileged and uh, privileged enough to access books but if you can try because it's it, knowledge is power knowledge is power and it's good to know what's out there and what are people are saying and you know all that shit so yeah read a book take care of yourselves take care of each other wash your hands wash your face wear a mask wash your ass and don't be anti-information bye